In this tutorial, I want to show you how to download, install, and get started on learning processing. So, you go to processing.org and press download. And here you choose your version for your operating system. If you don't know uh, which one you want on Windows, uh, you want this one. It will come bundled with Java and it will give you everything you need. Okay, so once you downloaded processing, it looks like this. Uh, this is called a sketch window, and you type your source code in here. Here is your debugging window, down here in the black space, um, and your buttons play, run, stop, new, open, save, export. Okay, um, you don't need to worry about this too much, just open and save, um, and run and stop are the ones you need. Okay. Let's make something interesting. Uh, if you just hit play in processing, it gives you a default window that's this big. Uh, if you want something bigger, you'll want 600 by 600, for example, you use size. Now, okay, so I'm typing this because I already know what size is. It's a built-in command into processing. Um, how do I know what, what these are? Well, there's a whole plethora of commands available to you under the reference page. Now, of course, you don't need to memorize any of these. You can just always um, come and find whatever you need. But it helps to have all of these uh, listed here. So what is size? Let's go look at the reference. It gives you an example. If someone does like a, OK, size, blah, blah, background, draw. Um, that's pretty useful. And then there's syntax for size, width, and then height. So that's what it means. Um, 600 by 600 is 600 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. Let's hit play. And that gives you that window. Cool. So let's draw a line again from the reference. Let's just be sure that we are doing, <laughs> that we know what we're doing. Um, line x1, y1, x2, y2. That's what it means. The coordinate system in processing goes as follows. 0, 0 is the top left hand corner and then as you increase in value for x and y you go to the bottom and then to the right. So as x increases, x being this axis, uh, values go, um, stuff goes this way. And same with y, they go this way, down. Okay, so if you want to draw a line from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner we want to do something like 50 50 uh, 500 500 we'll just run it and there you go we're drawing a line now in processing um, you can have stuff loop you can have animation you can have interaction but if you just do it like this it'll only run these two lines of code and do nothing else so what you want is to set up the program so that it looks like this uh, well, first of all, there's setup, which is a function built into processing. Again, that's sort of an ease of use function. It will run this only once. And draw will run an infinite amount of times until you quit your program. So let's do one basic thing. Every time you want to do something new in code, you want to do a hello world, just make sure you know, you have your footing on things. Um, so you want to do print, uh, you can do print or print ln, I'll show you each one. Print is just printing something out on the console. <clears> Hello <throat> world! And you'll see that it only runs once, but if you copy and paste that, or cut and paste that uh, into draw, it'll go Hello world! Hello world! Hello world! Hello world! Hello world, hello world. And so let's get rid of that. Actually, no, let's show you println. Yeah, okay. So println puts a return carriage at the end of hello world. So it, it makes that neater. I like println. It's neat. Um, so let's move on. Okay, so, so according to this, it's drawing. It, I mean, it's running this code over and over and over and over again. But why do we only see one line? Well, it's always drawing the line from 50, 50, 500, 500. 
It's always drawing in that same place. Um, and it's overlapping itself, so you don't see anything. If you do mouse x, mouse y for its second coordinate, so 50, 50 to achieve my mouse position, uh, you will be able to see stuff. Now, mouse x and mouse y, again, is stuff built into processing. It's, um, it gives you the mouse coordinate of your, your mouse relative to the screen, relative to this 0, 0 point. Not to your screen, as in not where your mouse is on your monitor, but rather where it is on this sketch window. Easy enough, right? So you play, and it gives you the mouse uh, line from 50-50 to the mouse X and mouse Y. Now, it may look to you like we've crashed our computer, but in fact, it's just as if an animator was drawing something, but he was never given a new piece of paper to draw on, and it's always drawing whatever on the same piece of paper. So if we want a new piece of paper, let's get rid of that. Um, you can do background, which clears the background, but you have to give it a color. So let's do 255, which is white. Uh, so that bears explaining, right? So 0 is black, and 255 is white. Uh, in processing, the color ranges go from 0 to 255, giving you a range of 256 values. Um, like most colored commands in processing, it takes it can take one or three values. So this just gives me uh, white, but then if I do 255, 255, or well, let's just keep it simple, 255, 0, 0 gives me red uh, in R, G, and B. That's the default configuration. Uh, let's not do that right now, though. Let's just do white, play. And then we have interaction, yay! So every screen or every time it runs draw, it's doing, it's drawing the white screen and then it's drawing the line, and then it's clearing that again, drawing the line, doing it over and over again. So these two lines of code, boom, 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 and it's making this interaction. Um, okay, and let's do something a little bit more sophisticated. Mass x, mass y width minus mouse x, height minus mouse y. Uh, and that will mirror where my mouse is in a line. Cool. Then if I want to just double check on my values, I can always input mathematical expression width minus mouse x directly into the println. So it will calculate that, whatever that is, and then dump it to my console down here. There it is, 2121, yeah. So that's, that's um, not my mouse, right? That's the exposition of the opposite end of the stick. Cool. So that's it, that's the very basics and how to get started. Uh, rely on your reference here and the examples that they provide and go and have fun.